Three, catch! Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? For the last week of the transcript, I decided to catch up with members of the Boys and Girls Ultimate Team to discuss the history and significance of the Pioneer Valley Invitational Tournament, what spirit of the game means and what it feels like to be nationally ranked, and much more. I went out and through with my fellow teammates and my captains, Mary Andrews and Rachel Levitt, to discuss what PVI means to them. Hi guys, thanks for Hi. being on. Hi, Hi thank guys. you so much. So could you explain a little bit about PVI and why it's such a big deal? Yeah, so actually this year, PBI, I think we have 65 teams coming from across the country and Canada. And for the girls tournament, it's going to be the largest high, girls high school tournament in the whole world ever. So it's a huge deal and like honored to be hosting it. Yeah, it's also just like a really huge deal for um, our program and like our team as a whole. We do like a ton of prep. Um, and it's like also really fun. What is it like being like the host school and like what expectations does that bring? Like do you feel any added pressure? Like obviously this is my first PBI, so, but like do you feel any added pressure being like the ones who are hosting and running the tournament? And kind of what does hosting technically mean? Yeah, I think being the host team kind of puts more pressure on to win the tournament. Like it's kind of, it's really fun. And um, I think often the host team does win, so, um, I think there's some pressure to do that, but also just to kind of bring the energy and be really excited about the tournament and like set up and make it the best experience for everyone else so it can continue and teams will continue to want to come. Thank you so much for being on my last Tamped Up. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> From the boys team, I sat down with senior Jason Cooper and junior Asa Thompson. I feel like this year compared to last year, our team is a lot more cohesive. Um, there's a lot less of a divide between the upperclassmen and lowerclassmen, which I think that we felt very much last season. Um, whereas uh, this season, we are all kind of a big unit and we play very well together. I think that makes a big difference in our game. So last year, we had a really good first day at PVI. We went three and one in group stages, I think. Um, but then transitioning to Sunday, our next stage, we, we kind of fell off a bit. Um, and so I think this year we need to make sure that like Saturday night, Sunday morning, we're really preparing our bodies and, and making sure that we're um, as ready as possible for those next few games on Sunday so that you know, after we play well on Saturday, we can follow it up with a good performance on Sunday. I feel like there is definitely some pressure on us to be good spirited and, um, you know, really play our best, uh, which is often stressful because we have some very competitive teams that come to this tournament, um, including the fact that this year is going to be the largest number of high school girls team at a high school tournament ever. So that uh, definitely adds some additional stress uh, to our team. Yeah, I think there's something really special about being able to play against a team where you where you're good friends with people. Um, you know, there's there's nothing like being able to guard one of your best friends and like um, trying to shut them down and having that competitiveness or even if they're not your best friends just you know like getting to know someone off the field and then getting to go and play them is something that's really fun and special. I definitely prefer filming Hamped Ups but the best is when I get to interview and film the same episode like the golf episode. Come see both the girls and boys ultimate teams at the Pioneer Valley Invitational Tournament all weekend long at the Oxbow. For other sports news see that whiteboard outside of the athletic office. This has been my last segment. To Jeremy, Mikey, Gabe, and every transcript member past and present, I want to say a big thank you. To every teacher who plays a transcript on Friday mornings, thank you for keeping our broadcast alive. The past two years have been an honor and a pleasure. One last time, thanks for watching Hemped Up. I'm Lulu Kesson.